Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, please consider subscribing, like, and share my videos, please, to your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. So today, I need to talk about the signs of ovulation. The signs of ovulation. On my last videos, I said ovulation is the release of a mature egg from the ovary during menstruation in female. So before so before ovulation there are some changes a woman undergoes and that's what I need to talk about. Number one a woman, if you are the one who has no cramps, eh? stomach pains, if you are the one who is not having that cramps, I tell you, if you are not aware of the other signs, it, it, may, it may embarrass you even in front of people. So, these are the signs other signs about from the cramps these are the other signs knowing that you are ready to ovulate or to menstruate number one we have the cervical mucus cervical mucus um we as women our v has a natural mucus it's like the oil it is the one which makes our v to be soft so but this one as a sign of ovulation it's not the same as the normal mucus this one is like an egg yolk and it's slippery if you can if you can take it and test with your thumb and this finger like this it stretches it can't cut eh? like the normal one the normal mucus when you test it like with the fingers when you do like this it cuts eh? but this one the ovulation mucus they stretch you if you test it like this it goes longer, longer, uh, they can't cut, eh? so it's slippery, like egg yolk, eh? mucus, so it's different from the normal mucus of the V. Another sign, we have breast tenderness. If you are ready, or you are near, to menstruate your breasts there are some some pains you feel in your breasts for more, more so on the nipples if you touch them like this you feel some pains that's one sign of ovulation and your breasts incre increase in size if you are keen with your breasts during this time your breasts do increase they, they they are not increasing in large but they increase in a small size a bit a bit increase eh? they increase and they have pains if you have if all if you feel those feelings then be aware that you are about to menstruate. Number three, sign number three. We have heightened senses. Heightened senses. What do I mean by saying heightened senses? Your senses, more so the smelling sense and testing sense. The smelling sense, they 
smell high even if something has a small smell you can smell it and the test you can you can test yani the test increases you can feel that this is sorry delicious sugary like that so during this time you are smelling and testing senses they become active like the normal days and some of the people they start craving you feel like eating feel like eating cake feel like eating something and you feel eating something some of the people they start craving during these times another sign is personal temperature increase this one you can't you can't you can't feel it and you can't be aware of it if you are not so keen your temperature your body temperature increases for about 1 degree celsius another thing is increase in libido increase in libido during this time eh? during menstruation time this when a woman feels like sleeping with a man your feelings are so high you feel like today i feel like i have to i have to do it during menstruation a woman is high her libido uh, is high the feelings of having sex are so high so if you feel like your desire of having sex is so high know that you are about to menstruate eh? another thing is cervical changes when i say cervical changes on our we know our cervix <laughs> we know our v when in in normal days our v is firm our suffix is firm it's firm but during menstruation it's so softy your suffix becomes so softy you can feel it during menstruation our v becomes so soft unlike the normal days and that thing becomes so soft unlike the other days it's firm you can feel it when you if you can touch it you can feel that the suffix is here is that i can feel it but during menstruation it's so soft another changes on our cervix it goes higher it moves higher unlike the normal days if you touch yeah i know that is your but part of the, your body you can touch it you can feel it so when it's when no more days that suffix is tightly closed it's tightly closed so the suffix is lower if you 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 insert your finger you can feel it but during menstruation it becomes higher so if you you insert your finger you have to insert then you, you you move it high that is when you can feel that that cervix but during menstruation it goes it moves higher a bit and becomes open so during menstruation 
our v our suffix opens eh? it opens to make a way for the menstruation blood to pass through that's why when you are menstruating you are menstruating you feel like your v is open and soft it's open to give away for the blood to move that is why it becomes open and after that of the ovulation it becomes again tightly closed those are the signs of ovulation the other one like me i become moodless and i become rude when among these days i become so rude rude you can't be bored with me but it's natural that's how we are so thank you for watching me you're welcome back on my next videos bye